Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing something very, very interesting. Now, one thing that I haven't done before is, or one thing that I have done before is built a bulldozer. I've never built a bulldozer that actually works though. So, today, that is my mission. We're going to try and build a bulldozer where its arm actually lifts up and lowers down. Uh, hopefully, which will allow us to flip tanks. That is my job today anyway, so that's what we're going to try and do. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Oh, and I should mention this was actually a suggestion that was given to me by Just Haven, one of our members, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, I need to decide how big I want this to be. Overly doesn't really matter because uh, it's not going to work the way that we want it to work anyway, but we're going to try and make it work the way we want it to work because of the reasons that we want it to work work. You know what I mean, guys? Alright, so, um, let's go ahead and squidge this a little bit. We're then going to go to edges, and we are going to split this. Alright, we're then going to extend this guy out the side, to there, and we're going to push this bit backwards. We're going to make it look a little bit like a bulldozer still. That's okay. So, let's go to mobility, go to fenders, get rid of, get rid of those, there we go. I got the hiccups or something, that was weird. Um, and we're going to make this essentially really big. So, the idler wheel... Diameter of that, quite large. There we go. Uh, we're also going to make this quite large too, hopefully, if we can. So the sprocket wheel, uh, again, quite large. There we go. And we're going to have it just like that. There we go. So it should work. Okay, excellent. The next thing we're going to do, and this might be really strange uh, as one of the first things we're going to do. We're going to go to compartments. We're going to go to turrets. And we're going to shove this actually on the top for right now. Okay, so if I can put that right there. And we're going to design this very, very nicely. Okay, so, grid snap, yes. Faces, yes. Drop this down so it's only one high. Fantastic. Grab it from this side, bring it to the center. Grab it from this side, bring it to the center. And this side, you guessed it, bring it to the center. Then, diameter of this, tiny. Grab it. Actually, yeah, grab it. Put it on the side of here. Excellent. Right, so, now we don't know where the face is of this thing. Uh, where the actual gun will go. So what I'm going to do is try and figure that out. Let's rotate it this way. Actually, no. Rotate it. No. Th this way. There we go. Uh, we need to figure out which side of this is actually the front, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So if we go to cannon, and we attach a cannon to that, like this one, for example, I believe this side is actually the front. Excellent. So now what we do is we go to faces, and we extend it. Here we go. Extend it forwards. Excellent. So far, so good. We're then going to bring it quite far forwards. We're going to extend it once again. And we're going to send it sideways. Okay, so far. So far, so good. It is working. Okay, good. We're going to extend that. Actually, get rid of grid snap. We're going to try and make it fit with this if we can. There we go. Extend it once more. Go to this, extend it backwards, bring it backwards to there, and there we go. It is pretty much the same on both sides. Actually, it's not. It's nowhere near the same on both sides. Uh, there we go. All right, so now it's the same on both sides. <laughs> Excellent. Right, what we're going to have to do now is go to firepower. Grab ourselves one of these. Make it really tiny. Okay, and we are going to have to have a gun on the front of it. That's okay. We're going to make that very small. And very small, and very small, and very small. There we go. We're then actually going to push this backwards into here, and that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Good. All right, in fact, lower it down. Get ourselves a gun sight. Okie dokie. Stop mirroring, and put it just there. Okay, so let's see if this works. If we aim it down, it aims down. If we aim it up, it aims the whole thing up. Excellent. All right. Haven, your thing is working. Your idea is totally working. Okay, so what I want to do is actually try and select everything. And I want to move the entire thing forwards. I've nah, I don't know if I've ever done this with everything. Oh, there you go. It does actually work. Excellent. So I need it to be poking out quite a bit. That's fine. All right, which also means we're going to move this forwards. But that, again, is probably also fine. Okay, road wheels, spacing. Uh, actually make them smaller. There you go. Bring this up, I guess. There you go. And we can make it look like a bulldozer in the end anyway, but that's fine. Okay, so now what we have to do, go to compartments. 
go to the gun, grab this piece, this piece, and this piece, and extend them downwards. Unfortunately, it is going to do both sides, but that's okay. So if we do that, that's fine. If we then bring it this way, that's also fine. And if I extend these guys out this way, I need to do it on both sides. So grab this, this, and this. Extend also. I think I can do this. I, I think I can do this. So if we do that, then we have a huge bulldozer blade. Excellent. That actually worked for once. Fantastic. Grab every single piece of this. There we go. Stop mirroring. Extend it once again. There we go. Bring it down slightly more. Bring it forwards a little bit. And there we go. We should be able to flip things with this now. Excellent. Okay, so in order to actually test that then, let's go to crew, grab one of these, and uh, we're just going to put it on the front for right now. It should move, and that should be fine. Uh, yes! Okay, right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in an enemy, which is going to be a hole. Da, 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 do, do, do. Awesome hole, no. Uh, da, da, da. What else would I have called it? Empty shell. Shell is what I called it. Fully armored shell. Okay, we are going to drive up to that. Hopefully our turret has enough torque and stuff to actually lift it and flip it over. That's the whole point of this, is to be able to flip over tanks. I don't know why it's the point of it, but it is. So if we can take it over there. Here we go. Slowly drive into the hole. Here we go. Okay, and then lift. Okay, it's not strong enough. It's not strong enough. Oh, my hull isn't... Yeah, okay, right. Can we make it stronger? Let's go to late war. Okay, this is weird. This is very strange. Go to compartments. Uh, the turret. Yes. The torque maximum. And the ratio... Also maximum. I think. Is this gonna work? Let's go see if this works. Because it might... Oh, actually, and we need to make this thing even heavier. So if I can, what we're going to do is go to mobility, go to fuel. We're going to attach this to the rear, and we're going to say maximum fuel. That's going to make us heavier in the rear. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully this works. All right, press Z, shell, da -da 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 -da. fully armored shell, let's go. I'm going to be so happy if this does eventually work, but I don't know whether it's going to... I don't know whether this game has thought about it and has thought... It's a bad idea. Also, that thing will weigh quite a lot, so maybe we need a lighter target. Maybe. All right, here we go. Get over to enemy. Yeah, we can't actually do it. We're not strong enough to actually lift. Look, it's trying. It's trying, but it's not enough. Okay, what if we go with a light tank? Light. Uh, do, 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 do. What would be light? What would be light? Five ton? Five ton? Five ton? Five ton? Fifteen ton? No. We need something that's really light. Uh, do, do, do. But all of these are going to shoot me. Two ton tank? That seems light. Okay, but it is also going to shoot me and I'm going to die. But let's see what happens. Oh, charge the enemy! Come up! Okay. If it's light enough, it'll work. I feel like I've just driven on it. Okay, right. Let's back up. Okay, we're aiming at it. It's not quite working. Okay, right. We need to modify this. So what we actually need to do is maybe make it more like a forklift. Uh, sort of. So grab each of these. We're going to extend the bottom bit forwards like so. So that we can still ramp them up onto it and then hopefully... Okay, yes. If we can ramp them up onto it and then flip them. Or, actually, if we make the whole thing slide under them, we might be able to lift them. That would be weird. <laughs> that would be very strange. Okay, right. Let's spawn in the two-turn again. Alright, it is going to shoot me probably. Don't worry about that too much. All right, here we go. Here we go. We just got to make sure that the bottom slides under. Is that under? Yeah, okay, kind of. And then lift. 
No, the turrets don't really work the way you'd want them to in this situation. No, they don't. It doesn't work. Unless it does. Unless it does. Guys, we can't... I can't tell. I can't tell. Uh, what we're going to do is go to points. Grab each of those. Bring them downwards. And forwards. There we go. And then we're going to go to faces. Grab each one of these. And extend them this way. Bring them forwards like so. And then maybe we can actually lift the tank up. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is very dumb, but I love it. Alright, is everybody ready for this? Aim as low as we can and make sure that we actually scoop it. Here we go. Yeah, we are scooping. We almost have a tank actually on. Lift. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't say it doesn't work. You cannot say it doesn't work. It totally does. Guys, it totally does. Lifting two tons seems like a lot, though, actually. But it is working. I feel like my whole tank needs to weigh more. The physics in this game can't deal with this, I don't think. But I've just chucked a tank on my head. <laughs> I've just... Okay, right. Okay. 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 What we gotta do is we gotta make ourselves weigh a lot. Okay, so select all. We're gonna have thickness of armor maximum. We weigh 40 tons. We're now gonna go to this. And we're actually gonna go and extend this basket thing uh, a little bit more. And we're gonna try and pick up a big tank. Like an actual big tank. There we go. Alright, this is silly. This is actually silly. Let's go ahead and make like a little box for this first as well. So extend this up. There we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're gonna look like a... Um, a little bit like a bulldozer. Not really though. Alright, there we go. Bam. Bulldozer. Let's go. Okay, so. We can't move. Our engine needs to be way bigger too. Okay, that's fine. Engine. Advanced. As big as it possibly can be. There you go. Alright, drive. Okay. Right. Uh, this is going to be strange. But let's see what happens. So. Let's go ahead and select a target. We're going to say... Let's go with a two-ton again. Actually, no. Let's go with a shell. Because this is a fully armored shell. It, it weighs 73 tons. No wonder we couldn't pick it up. 73 tons is a lot to lift. Um, but yeah, let's drive over to it. And see if this can actually lift it up. It's going to be interesting. It might be able to work. It might also not. We'll see. So we're going to go around the back. And we're going to try and scoop it together. Okay, my, my turning circle with this is no longer very good. But that's okay. So keep turning. There's no way I'm going to get this into the right position. We need... Oh, actually, the thing that's failing me right now is our suspension. That is, that is the thing that's not going well. Come on, turn! Turn! Come on! Okay, one second. I'm going to turn around and I'll be back with you. Okay, so if we actually put this above us, our turning is actually very good. Anyway, uh, if we go ahead and we angle this down. Okay, right, that took some doing, but we're going down. Alright, there's our target. Oh, I've just damaged ourselves. We need to be careful. Alright, target is... Target is on. Sort of. Lift up target. Oh... Target's heavier than us. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't come into consideration. I just died. <laughs> we need to be heavier in order to lift up heavier things. Maybe we need a slightly lighter target. Maybe. Or, uh, and this is a this is a big a, a big or. Uh, we need a bigger tank. So actually, we're gonna do this backwards. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and extend. Uh, now we're gonna split this. Here we go. So split that there. And we're going to have a little, like, thingamabobby at the back, which is going to be our driver's bit. Our little driver's bit is going to go at the rear. How do we feel about that? I, I think I feel good about that. Okay, so if we can grab this as well, grab that as well, and angle this forwards. Sure. There we go. Also, obviously, uh, we need this thing to have a bright color. The condition needs to be almost perfect. 
Actually, a little bit down. It needs to be a bit grimy, but yeah, it needs to be yellow. So if we can do saturation maximum. Where's the yellow at? Is this the yellow? I can't quite make it yellow. Write this down? That is a horrible yellow. That is a really bad, horrible yellow. Uh, more like that. There we go. Saturation down. There we go. Okay, so now we are we are like a cat. <laughs> sure. Okay, so uh, next thing. Mobility, yes. Uh, tracks, yes. Suspension, yes. Damper, maximum. Scale, uh, quite large. There we go. Rest angle, leave it as is. Adjust, no. Length, small. Uh, diameter, massive. Go. Now we should be strong. Also, how much do we weigh? 57 tons. I feel like we need to weigh more. How do I put more weight into this? This is not something that I've really done before. I've never tried to add weight to something. I've always been like, oh, we need less weight. Less weight. All right, here we go. Uh, la, 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 la. Thickness, maximum. Length. Doesn't really change it. Kind of does, though. Width, maximum. No, actually, mm, no. I don't want it to look really, really ugly. Just a little bit ugly. There we go. All right, so we weigh 59 tons. Okay. We're going to armor up the front of this. And when I say the front of this, I actually mean all of this. All right, select all. Yes. Uh, armor. Oh, no. This, this might make it really bad. We'll see. We're 130 tons. Can we still lift it? Okay, we can't have that be 130 tons. We actually just... We just can't. <laughs> There's no way. Alright, we're gonna have to... Maybe just armor up this bit. So, because they'd be shooting me here. So, armor up that bit. Um, uh, maximum. Okay. Still works though, right? Yep. I could've, if I wanted to, put another turret on the other end that pivots the other way, and then had it be able to lift up the tank's level. That would be kind of interesting, but we're not at that stage yet in development. I don't know whether you guys can notice, but we are we are not at that stage. Uh, right, okay. Something that's not very deadly, please. I mean, the two-ton tank isn't very deadly. I kind of want to try it on the 30-ton one, though. There we go. There's a 30-ton tank. It's a bit big. And it's driving off. It's a bit big and it's driving off. It's going to shoot me. Hey, no shooting at me. I'm doing practice here. I'm going to scoop you up. How do you feel about that, buddy? You're going to get scooped. Hey, scoop is on its way. Uh-oh. No, scoop. No, scoop missed. Scoop missed. Hang on. Hang on, more scoopages coming in. Drive onto the scoop. Flip. <laughs> no. Didn't quite work. Oh, I died. I'm confused. Sure. Alright guys, I've got a new target. Uh, I got rid of all the crew so that it won't shoot at me. And uh, we're going to spawn in the 18 and a half ton with no crew. This seems like a nice size. A nice size enemy. Uh, you know, if we just make sure that they're all... <laughs> that they're all 18 and a half tons or below. Uh, as long as this test works. Alright, yeah, take that tree. Oh my, it actually drove up onto me. Alright, there we go. Yeah, lift. You see, I don't know whether that counts as working or not. I want to I want to go ahead and say that that's not actually working, but at the same time I I I don't quite know. I'm unsure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we need more weight on my tank. That's what we're going to do. More weight on that bit of the tank. Less weight on the big bit at the front that lifts the tanks. And we should be good. Maybe. Actually, even better idea. Uh, actually, a way better idea. So, compartments. Yes. Faces. Yes. Extend. Yep. Bring this forwards. Bring it down so it can't actually be angled uh, too badly. There we go. Okay. We're then going to extend it once more. And then when it comes to lifting a tank, we can only lift it as far as this. And that's probably... Oh, it's going to stop us. It's going to stop us at the start. Yes! Yes! It's working! It's kind of working. I'm going to aim this at the sky. So that when we drive, 
we have a little bit more control. Aim it at myself. Come on. Yep. Don't worry about the trees. Oh. <laughs> Oops, I might have just knocked a tree over. Yes. I wonder how much this thing weighs by itself, actually. Just the, uh... Just the blade bit? I'm assuming quite a lot. Alright, here we go. Alright, spawn in the 18 and a half ton one. Again, here we go. Angle it downwards. Actually, get us in a nice position before angling it down. It's way easier to drive that way. Alright, there we go. Turn around, please. Here we go. This is such a... Like, it was a really silly idea, but the physics in this game don't actually support this. They don't. They, 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 they don't support tank, tank contact. Not really. It's just you die if you hit a tank, or a tank rams you really hard. But, you know, you should be fine. Anyway, angle down. Like, this tank, oh, this game is not really for forklift trucks, is, is, is essentially what I'm saying. Also, I need to angle it again, because I'm still not in the right position. <laughs> so, in theory, it, it, it you can lift up enemy tanks, but also in theory, or in, in practice, I should say, lifting up enemy tanks is pointless, um, because they don't work the right way. Physics don't do... don't... That is not what I wanted to do. I just flipped myself almost. All right, fold it down. Okay, it's working. It's quite tricky to um, to control, but that's fine. All right, there's the 18 and a half ton. Drive towards. I want to get a nicer, a nicer stance on it. Hang on. Here we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. We weigh more now. So now when I lift, and we also have that thing. So now when we lift, it doesn't break fully. Excellent. We did it, guys. I I honestly think that this was a very good test. Um, and because it was a very good test. This video will be released. <laughs> if it wasn't a good test, this video wouldn't have been released. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and thank Haven for this. Thank you very much for suggesting this. It was actually a very fun idea, using a turret as the actual lifty thing. Originally, it was just to use the barrels of the guns, but the barrels of the guns go through things, uh, so that doesn't quite work. But this is awesome. This is really, really cool. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.